calculus rate of change so the very first chapter is rate of change in the calculus now when we are doing rate of change of different kinds of functions then we land up in this kind of situation and therefore knowing how to rationalize and finding the answer is a good skill so we'll practice this with the help of the given example so we need to rationalize numerator where we are given square root of 5x plus h minus square root of 5x divided by h, right? So that is the given question. So let's rationalize. So we are given square root of 5x plus h minus square root of 5x divided by h. To rationalize numerator, so wherever we have square root, that part has to be rationalized. If we have square root in the denominator, then denominator will be rationalized. If we have square root in both numerator and denominator, then both should be rationalized. Okay. Now, to rationalize, we need to multiply by its conjugate and divide by the same term. So the conjugate is changing the sign. So we get square root of 5x plus h plus square root of 5x, right? So we change the sign, this becomes a conjugate. Divided by the same thing, square root of 5x plus h plus square root of 5x. That is the conjugate. Now, so we have started with this expression, which is equal to this times this, since this is just 1, right? So 1 times anything is the same thing. Now, you know, a plus b, this is like a minus b times a plus b, right? So a plus b times a minus b is a square. So a plus b times a minus b is a square minus b square. So that is the factoring thing which you remember, right? So we'll apply that now. So when you square this, what do you get? You get rid of square root. That is how we simplify it. So we get rid of square root. So we get this square, which is 5x plus h minus square of this is just 5x over h. Do you see that? That's what we get. And now 5x minus 5x is 0 and we are left with h over h which is equals to 1. So the whole complicated thing is just 1 when simplified. So that is how we simplify radicals, square roots. Um, and these things will help us a lot in calculus, especially to find limits and to find rate of change. I hope you'll use this technique effectively and go through without any problems. Thanks and all the best.